stores on Chattanooga's North Shore clean up after a mess they say slowed business this weekend. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kelsey Bagwell. Work continues on the broken underwater pipe that carries water to residents. Hannah Lawrence live now to tell us how the project's affecting businesses nearby. Hannah. Josh, Kelsey, the project manager tells me that they have installed a new underwater pipe successfully this morning. This is the temporary one right here that runs across the bridge and onto Fraser Avenue. It connects to a fire hydrant on both sides. Now, if you take a look over the edge of this bridge here, you can see the businesses that were affected by the flooding. Local art shop Tangerina's airing out after flooding this weekend. It was like a constant faucet that just kept coming in and like you left your faucet on and we couldn't get ahead of it. Griffin gave us that video and these pictures she took when it happened on Saturday. We had two shop backs going from 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock, dumping just gallons and gallons of water. But this was rushing out of the wall. It was so bizarre. Grady Stout with Tennessee American Water says the leak was a side effect of this project. We were performing a, um, a bacterial test and had pressure on the main. He says the water going into this fire hydrant was under so much pressure pressure that it began pushing into these businesses. So it saturated the ground and we weren't made aware. We didn't know it was leaking until it unfortunately came through the walls. Griffin says the water damaged some rugs, but most concerning, she says the store lost business during prime Saturday hours. Definitely lost business, but I feel like the city really did take care of us. I mean, they probably stopped in here 10 times. The president from the water company stopped in and just apologized a million times. Stout says the problem with the hydrant was resolved Saturday night, and Griffin says they haven't had any more water come in since then. The deli next to Griffin's store was said that they were also affected with the leaking. Griffin told us that city insurance is going to pay for the damages to her rugs and any of the art supplies that were damaged in her back room. For now, live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thanks, Hannah. The whole project is supposed to be complete by the end of this week. That's when Stout says residents can expect their water pressure to be back to normal as well. You can read more about that project on newschannel9.com.